Hey everyone, I know it's been a while, but I thought I'd make a video focusing on the Bang & Olufsen sound system. Um, just to give you a quick little overview of my impression, speaker placement, and um, a very brief audio demonstration, because, you know, YouTube likes to flag stuff. You have them monetized, and you're using copyrighted songs. So, um, this will just be kind of my impression of the audio system, like I said. Um, this is a 14-speaker audio system that includes the subwoofer. 705 watts of maximum power. Um, it's an $850 standalone option on the A3S3. Um, and that also includes, you know, the e-tron e and the TDI and all other stuff. And this is a U.S. market car. Um, it's a surround sound audio system. Pretty much, if you want to know the gist of it, the gist of this audio system, I think, is to really reproduce sounds as accurately as possible. There's some sound manufacturers or premium audio systems that think premium means just more bass, <laughs> and that's not what premium means. Um, I know in my Fords, um, with the Sony audio systems, that's pretty much how, I mean, they had some decent clarity to them, but not as clear sounding as this. Like, you can hear, like, you know, individual, like, you know, strings on instrumental instruments, and, you know, the clarity of the system is really where it excels. If you want a system that's just going to rattle the windows and blow the windows out, um, this isn't really the route to go. You'd be have a better luck with, like, Rockford Fosgate. I'm, I haven't really heard of Rockford Fosgate system. I know they're, they're pretty boomy. Um, or those Ford, Sony systems and stuff like that. Um... Those are really bass, thumpy audio systems that just rattle everything. Um, but this has really good clarity. Now, it's not to say this is a weak audio system by any stretch of the imagination. You still get plenty of bass response. Um, so it's it's fairly adjustable. It's nice to have an individual subwoofer adjustment. Um, not all the B&O systems have that. Um, this is kind of how I have it set up, a little bit more towards bass. Because again, it's not a terribly bass-heavy system. Then I usually just leave the sound, the the, uh, the uh, surround turned all the way up. Um, but anyway, um, speaker placement. Just so you know where they all are. Moving to the doors. We have one, two, tweeters, three, center point, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for that door, ten, eleven for that door. 12, 13 for the shelf, and 14 is the subwoofer in the back. Here's your speaker placement, and uh, overall it's a really good audio system. I would highly recommend it over the bass system. And I'll just do a quick little uh, audio demonstration. Um, hope you guys like Fleetwood Mac, because I do.